relationship with Jesus, the path for that relationship is His blood. You cannot be connected to Jesus without being linked to His blood. The story I want to use to illustrate this is a story of a young man, short man in the Bible. His name is Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a short man, and there's two things you need to know about short people. They're born short, they can't do nothing not to be short. No offense to people who are, no, and, and God loves them three, amen. But the point, the point was this, is the Bible says that we are all fall short of the glory of God. Everybody's short. Turn to your neighbor and say, you're short. Some of you thought, I'm going to diss on the short people. No, my wife is short, okay? I would never dare to do that. The point is this, is that Zacchaeus is not the only one who struggled with his statue. You are also the one who has a problem with your statue. The Bible says he was short, and because of his statue, he could not see Jesus. The Bible says he wanted to see Jesus, but he could not see Jesus because he was, well, he was very short. And when you're short, the problem you have is that you can't see everything other people can see. And because he was short, he was not able to see Jesus. I know this about us is that when you come many times to your prayer closet or you begin to walk in your relationship with God, there will be many and many times when you will feel just like Zacchaeus. You will feel short. And your desire to see God, your desire to connect with Holy Spirit, your desire to be really close to God, many times it will become sabotaged and become quenched because you will look at yourself and you say, well, not today because, well, I'm very short today. And Zacchaeus, instead of going home and saying, well, Jesus doesn't like short people or Jesus is too tall for short people, guess what? Jesus is not for me. The Bible says Zacchaeus finds a tree, a sycamore tree. He takes time to climb on the tree to get a better view of Jesus. See, he only wanted to see Jesus. But my Bible makes me to understand that it never mentions that Zacchaeus saw Jesus. It says when Jesus was passing by, Jesus saw Zacchaeus. See, Jesus walked to the tree and Zacchaeus was in the best place not only to see Jesus but to be seen by Jesus. Jesus looks up and says, hi, Zacchaeus. God provided a tree, Zacchaeus discovered it. This tree, this Zacchaeus story, I've been going to this tree so many times in my prayer time. I know this spot that Zacchaeus found. I know this spot that Zacchaeus discovered and I know the same spot that Holy Spirit passes by every single time you sit there. It will take time to get to that spot. Sometimes to crawl on that tree and hang to the cross and to the blood and say that's all I got right now. Because my feelings are against me, my consciousness is screaming against me. Everything is against me so I will just hold on to this tree just to get a better view of Jesus. And little do you know, as you're holding on to that, Holy Spirit begins to walk by and He begins to see you. Your relationship with Jesus has to be completely linked with your dependence on the blood of Jesus every single day. When you get a theology degree, when you become a pastor, when you become a leader, when you quit doing the things that you think you should be quitting and then you'll be really perfect, even then you will feel short in comparison to God and you will need a tree. The same spot Zacchaeus found, there is room on that tree for you too. I found my room, you can find yours as well. It's where Jesus can see you. The best part is not when Jesus saw him. The best part is the Bible says Jesus looked at him and he called him by name. A person's name is the most sweetest word in the language to them. Jesus called him not by his profession, not by his past, not by his weakness, his struggle or his issue. Jesus called a man who probably doesn't get called by his name many times because he ripped people off. He was hated by the Jews because he worked for Romans and ripped the Jews to make himself rich. And Jesus looked at that man who clings to the tree and says, Zacchaeus. See, that told Zacchaeus, see, I wanted to see Jesus, but I never knew Jesus knows me. 
Vic was talking about a powerful message last night to know God. But when you climb on a tree and you have nothing to hold on to but the branches of the Calvary, something will hit you. It's not only that you love God, you want to know God, but the God intimately knows you. Not to you that people know. Not to you the church knows. Not to you that you want to be. Not to you you were. Not to you you promise and the New Year's resolutions to be at the end of the year. The you that's on the tree right now. The you with that name that you have right now. Zacchaeus. But the most amazing part is not that Jesus called him by name. It's that Jesus said, I go to your house. Let's go to your house. And the Bible says, as they went to the house and they came inside of the house, they begin to eat. And this Jesus whom he met on the tree now knows his name. And not only that, Zacchaeus and Jesus are hanging out together. Zacchaeus and Jesus are together and something hits Zacchaeus. Where Zacchaeus come to Jesus and Zacchaeus says, Jesus, everybody I ever cheated, I will give them back. And Jesus, I'm going to give half of my possessions to the poor people. And Jesus turns to the people and he says, today salvation has come to this house. Your relationship with Jesus is anchored in his blood. When it's anchored in his blood, you will be changed.